Hey guys, welcome back to round two, front nine coverage of the Blue Mountain Magic, presented by Blue Mountain Construction. I'm here with my co-commentator, Jacob Shepard. And before he introduces the players, I'd like to just quickly thank a few of our sponsors, Legacy Discs, Fresno Flight Center, and allowing this coverage to be possible, Freedom Flight. Jake, who do we have on the card today? All right, so it looks like today we've got Bakersfield's own Donovan Smith. We got Fresno's Logan Riding. We've got Tony Bonso, and then we've got a newcomer from NorCal, Chris Graham. But he's going to be going by Graham. People call him Graham, so. Sounds good. Getting the action started here on hole 18 for the beginning of round two. Donovan's a big, powerful lefty. He's able to basically fillet this hole. Leaves it a little bit on the right side, but. He's going to have to fight through that. Yeah. Ooh, Logan catches that guardian tree. He's got some work to do. Really unique style here from Chris <laughs> Graham, but, I mean, super effective. That's a excellent shot. Wow, he is parked. Great shot. Another early that forehand. Looks like it's trouble. Definitely got to hang it out on the left-hand side to get around that to get in. Logan parks his up shot. Great shot. A little bit more difficult here for Tony, though, having to go backhand. That's a hard stance. Yeah. He's got major work to do here to save par. Oh, That's, gave it a run. Yeah, nice effort, but he'll be taking a bogey most likely. Donovan had a great gap to get through, but couldn't cash in, but he's got his par. Tony will get his bogey. And last but not least, Graham yeah, cashing in for that part two. That was such a good drive. Graham earning the honors here on the second hole, the 19th. Everybody's ace running this. Yeah, not much to this one. 270 downhill, pretty straightforward. Logan hit collector on the first round. He is definitely going to be looking to repeat or better here. He says, come on, bird, you know what to do. Leaving it a little bit on the right side this time. A little bit. Tony going up the middle with the buzz. Needs to flex a little bit. That's pretty good. He's pinned high. Yeah. About 12 feet, maybe. Nice no little problem tester. For Logan. Yeah. That's uh, one of those putts where you can get that in the beginning of your round and sort of set the pace for the rest of your round, get your putting feeling good on the green, and give you a little bit of confidence going into the rest of this round. Absolutely. Getting into a rhythm is really important. This is a great hole. For the second hole to get that going. Yeah, and all the rest of these guys making some nice putts and Graham with the back to back birds. It's a good start. This is plays close to four hundred uphill. Wait, how many twos on that hole? That is pretty good. A little bit of work, but it's a good shot. The gap's slightly tighter for the lefty here, but no slouch in the distance department. Leaves it a little bit low on the hillside. Logan taking the same line. He doesn't like it. Yeah, it looks like that. A little short right, it looks. That fade kicked in a little too early for him. You see his disc getting flat at the top of the flight, but still a little bit short. He should have a decent look from there, though. Looks about 45 uphill for Donovan. Oh, a little low. Yeah. Straight at it, though. A little bit closer for Tony. Uh -oh. A little low as well. Yep, same problem. It was a good run from Logan. He had more of a side hill stance. Just off the... Just tickling the chains yeah. for Graham. 
That would have been an incredible start for him. But I mean, still. Getting their pars and moving on, though. So yeah. Still solid. No harm, no foul on the par here. I think they'd all like to have this one back, but no damage done. Yeah. All right, hole number two. If you've watched our coverage from round one, you'd know that there are some mountain lions on this hole. There's a mountain lion den in the rocks. On the right, close to where Graham threw. He's going to have to be careful over there. Yeah. Get in. And the power lefty just Donovan. dropping a dime. That's perfect. That's so good. A little bit juiced here, staying too straight. Doesn't really get that fade, bringing him back to the basket that I know he wanted. Gonna have a little work to do. Hook up, man. If I can hook up, it can be pretty good, but it yeah, seems it's like it's gonna hold that turnover. Back. Almost pin high, just too far right. Nice little floaty layup there over the hillside. That's a great shot. He's getting to get his par from there. Ooh, nice run there from Logan. Shot. That is a pretty good run out of Graham right there. That's an easy par. This is Donovan for a nice easy birdie. He snuck it in there. That's she, weak side, yeah, but she, it stuck. It danced a little bit, but that's a good butt. He was worried there for a sec. Yeah, he had to do the double take. Like, whoa, whoa, stay yeah. in, stay in. Hold on. But he cashes in with the bird. Hole three, 254, slightly uphill. Donovan took the lefty forehand route just uh -huh. over the basket. Yeah, just sailed it a little bit. Graham with a little bit lower of a shot. Got to crest that hill. Very nicely done. I mean, to be able to generate that much power from the standstill is so impressive. Logan with the right hand forehand play. Not too bad. That's got to get left, I think. Yeah. Just a little right. He's got to look. Oh, just strong side, trickles out. Just pushed it a little too wide. Yep. And Logan, though, can't capitalize off the top of the collector. He really wanted that to get a stroke on Donovan there. Oh, oh. kind of a 50-50 putt there. That could have went either way. weak side, but uh, that's a tough one. Graham, though, cashing the birdie. Yeah, good great stroke drive. on the card there. That'll bring Graham tied with Logan, one stroke back of Donovan. So things are getting exciting here. Hole four, just under 200 feet. You'll see some jump putts here. You'll see some standstill throws. Not much by way of distance, but you know, controlling that speed coming into this precarious green is pretty important. You've got the backstop with the rocks that you can try to utilize. That was very close. Oh. And Tony's been throwing this zone all over the mountain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wedges it into the rock. Super unfortunate lie there for Donovan, those rocks being in his way like that. That was hard. Oh, just a little low. Oh no. That hurts. Logan gets a stroke on the card. Dude, I swear, I just saw my disc go like this. He's not happy with that. No. And this is going to be a little short 150, 160 footer. Holy. He pushed okay. that way past the basket. Which is Can easy I? to do, you know, it's on such a short hole, touches everything. 
Sometimes just it's hard to throw it that it. short. Yeah, you just got to get past this tree here right in front of you. Get up there to the basket. Seems like after watching you throw that. Looks like Donovan came up a little short on that. Yeah, he says it's not hard to throw it short. That is a little long. Yeah. It almost but, probably looked like an ace run from the tee pad, but up on the hill just behind the basket. Logan connects on his birdie putt. Great putt. Stands on the basket. He showed these guys how to make this putt, so... So it's easy. Just put it right in the basket. You're even closer than I was. Graham off oh, the cage. Just a little low. Tony cashes in on his birdie, though. See if Donovan can match. And he does. Well Good done. Putt. Graham's going to wish he got that one back as the rest of the card all birdied, but still a par. Not much damage done. Yeah. Signature top of the world shot here. It doesn't get any more fun than this. Oh, 700 good. feet or so yeah. downhill. Oh yeah, if that's fading, that's great. Get that. That is oh. very nicely done by Logan. Wow, that, that is, is a great shot. Yeah, that's fantastic. Getting props from the cameraman. Oh, that's gonna be a good day. Donovan yeah. trying to match it. it. On there. it looks, that is, it's down. hooking up. It looks like a mirror image of Logan's shot. Oh wow, just a little uh, bit it's short. A little short, but that is still a great shot. It's down there. He's looking at a bird. Oh, getting a nice flip. little flip up. Oh, very nicely. Man, watching a disc fly like that is just so much fun. Right over the top of you can Ooh. track the shadow right over the top of that basket. Graham looking for some flip. It flipped a little bit, but it's coming out a little early. He's going to be a little short. Yeah, but you know, not too much in the way here. He should have an easy approach. I mean, even this approach is a fun shot to throw. A little bit nervy, but still pretty fun, yeah, I think. Downhill, throw it up there, let it float on down. Oh, oh Donovan, almost, just barely outside. And even a putt like this is super nervy. It's because oh. you've done all that work to get so close. You're feeling the pressure. You're, this is a two that probably no one in the field is getting. He and knew he, get he to had him. to capitalize on that. Yeah, that would have been huge, you know, getting a stroke in a tight race when you're tied up with your competitor on a hole like this is, you know, it's everything. Yeah, he, he definitely wanted that. It's still a par, so he's still okay, but it's definitely one he'd like to have back. Cleaning up their pars. And on to the next hole. All right, hole seven. Scenic hole seven, a.k.a. the snake hole. Yeah, don't... Be standing too close to the rocks near the pathway because it is rattlesnake territory out here. There's definitely some snakes, especially this time of the year. It starts to warm up. You're just getting out and you're getting hungry, and you don't want to be their meal. No, if you put the disc right next to the basket where Donovan did, you should be fine. Yeah. In fact, it looked like he almost dunked that one in. He probably got a little scared from the tee pad thinking it went in. Everybody's trying to get this one close. Use the backdrop of the rocks. Just run it right up there if you can. Graham just keeps impressing yes. with his standstill shot. It sort of looks like maybe he might not have the power to get there, but every time he's got plenty of distance and accuracy as well. Tony just sailed that one a little high there. I'm uh, just not able to connect on the putt there for no. Graham. Logan cashes in. Great putt. Good drive. That's what you want. Donovan looking to match. And he does. These guys are battling. Nice 
Nice cleanup from Graham. Graham saves his par. Tony's going to tap that out. Move on to the next hole. All right, final hole here on this front 10 video. Slightly uphill. Yeah, nice shot, dude. Oh, great shot. You can see by their shirts the wind is picking up a little bit, so we've got to take that into account. But it's still a very birdieable hole. I think the play that Donovan did there, more like spiking it into the green, sort of lends itself to the distance control a little bit better, whereas a shot like Logan's it was more direct and had a little bit more ground action that sends it on the backside. We'll see what kind of putt he has, though. Definitely more aggressive. That's got some juice. This looks like it's going in long. Oh, that looked like it went in, but... That is... That's the aggressive play we talked about right there. Yeah. That went that went pretty far down there. He's going to have a lot of work to get that birdie. How many times am I going to do that can. today, right? Off the top again for Tony. It's not too bad by Graham. He gave it a run. Yeah, I suppose this isn't bad. Maybe 22 feet here. But oh, Logan air mails it a little bit. Just off the top. He wants that one back. <laughs> oh, looked oh. like that one slipped out of his hand there. Yeah. Yeah, those are never fun, especially when they're on no, video. No, not at all. I can attest to that myself. Donovan cleans up his birdie very nicely. Well, he'll get, He's one, happy on to Logan. get one on Logan there. And Logan's not very happy about it, though. Nope. Graham taps out his bogey. So, after 10 holes played on the second round with only 9 to go, Donovan picks up a stroke there on Logan, and he'll have a one stroke advantage heading into the back nine. So, like, subscribe, and join us on the back nine to see how this wraps up.